We now know that numbers can perform multiple jobs. Numbers can stand for names or categories, or they can measure something. But something remarkable happens when we put a lot of numbers together in a group. When you group related numbers together, they become a variable. Now, variables are anything that can vary or produce two or more different values. So if you think about any quality of the human experience, it's probably a variable. How about age? If we ask a randomly selected group of human beings about their age, would we get different numbers or would they all be the same? Because age can take on more than one value in a group, because age can vary, age is a variable. Well, what else could be a variable among human beings? Age, race, hair color, intelligence, gender, anxiety, aggression, personality type, all of those could be measured and all of them would be variables. Now on the other hand, some groups of numbers can only assume one value. They do not vary and those are called constants. Now some values are constant because they theoretically cannot vary. For instance, a cup of liquid is eight ounces. The curb weight of a 1976 Ford Pinto is 2,595 pounds. The Earth goes around the Sun once every 24 hours. Other variables are constants because we make them constants. For instance, I helped some researchers who were studying post-operative outcomes in a maternity ward. So all of their patients were female. In that study, gender was a constant. Or if you were studying the income differences between men and women, we know that income is closely tied to education. So if we were looking for income differences based on gender, we should make sure that we are comparing men and women with similar levels of education. In that case, we would hold education constant to control for differences. Another way to describe variables is as quantitative or qualitative. A quantitative variable indicates an amount. Quantitative variables are expressed as a number, such as height in inches, test scores in point totals, or weight in pounds. Quantitative variables quantify an amount. Qualitative variables indicate a characteristic or quality of an individual. They cannot convey an amount. Linguistic studies focus on word usage, such as positive or negative content. Gender is a quality of an individual. You have a type A or type B personality. Or maybe you are an ISTJ on the Myers-Briggs personality profile, or an influencer on the DISC personality profile. Or, according to that personality test on Facebook, your personality is most like Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory. Now, by the way, those Facebook personality tests, like, what kind of dog are you, are all bogus. And they only exist to collect personal information about you without paying you so they can then use it to more effectively market stuff to you. Just saying. Yeah. Another way to describe variables is as categorical versus continuous variables. A continuous variable allows for fractional amounts, or at least theoretically. Continuous variables would be scale variables, interval or ratio level data, such as the passage of time, 6.4435 years, or temperature, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or IQ, even though you can't get a 98.6 IQ, meaning that Technically, it is a discrete variable. Theoretically, IQ is still continuous. A continuous scale is like a ramp. You can be any height from the ground. If we have a ramp, I could say to you, go stand so that you are nine inches above the sidewalk. And you could scoot up and down the ramp to find the one spot where your right foot was nine inches off of the ground. A categorical variable on the other hand, can measure only whole number amounts. There cannot be partials 
or fractions. Categorical variables are also called discrete variables. How many cars do you own? How many children do you have? How many songs are on your iPod? How many iPods do you own? Categorical scales are like a staircase. Unlike the ramp, when you're standing on the stairs, you can only be 6 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, etc. from the ground. There is no place on the stairs where you could stand 9 inches off the ground because the stairs are in categories of 6 inches each. There is also a special case of categorical variable called dichotomous variables. A dichotomous variable is a discrete variable that can have only two values. No more, no less. You can only be in one category. You can't be in both. You can't be in neither. For instance, pass-fail on a test. You either passed or you failed. You can't both pass and fail. You can't neither pass nor fail. Or living dead. You're either one or the other. There's no such thing as being mostly dead versus all dead, even if Miracle Max said so in The Prince's Bride. Although, if you were all dead, there was really only one thing we could do. Go through your pockets and look for loose change. Or pregnant, not pregnant. Again, it's a dichotomy. One or the other. Not both, not neither. There is no such thing as being a little bit pregnant.